what is somatic intelligence? Somatic intelligence is the wisdom in our body. Somatic is through the body. Intelligence is the wisdom. And through this wisdom in our body, we can live quite differently when we start to understand the communication of the body, how the body communicates with us, what it means. And that opens up a world of possibility for what I call self-management. When I understand better what is going on with me and I can understand what it all means, I can make better decisions. So the body communicates to us through feelings and sensations. How do you know that you want to eat? Because you feel hunger in your stomach. How do you know that you're, you need rest uh, and that you're working too hard? Because your body starts to suddenly ache your throat. You usually go like, oh, my throat hurts or can't swallow well or you have a headache. The body starts to give you signals that you're pushing too hard and that you need a break. Uh, the same with grief. When we feel grief, like we'll see it feel really deep sadness. How many of you have ever felt like your body was getting sick? You were working or in the middle of something important, and then you pushed through and then you got sick afterwards. So almost all hands went up, and I'm pretty sure everybody. <laughs> so, so what we need to do is the opposite. You know, someone from my team was feeling kind of sick the last two days. And the first thing I said to her, I said, don't push through take the time off because if you take the time off and you rest, if you back out, then in two days, you'll be fine. But if you push, then you're going to be sick for a week. And we think right away, oh, I just got to finish this. I got to finish that. The price is actually higher. And I think that as a dancer, I've learned that over the years because, you know, I would train, for example, in Cuba and I would train five days a week, five hours a day. And it was really intense. And then I would feel really tired and be like, no, 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 but I got to be able to do that. I came to Cuba because I'm trying to achieve this and this and this. And then I would push my body. And then the next day I would have inflammation in my shoulder and I would not be able to train for a week. And if I only backed away and gave my body that day that it needed, I could probably bounce back. And you see this a lot when you work with the body on a regular basis and you learn over time, like it's better to back out. <laughs> Let me give my body a rest. The price is much higher when I don't. And then you start to really pay attention. And that's something that I really try to instill in my team is that when they don't feel good to back out and take care of themselves, if, you know, if it's something super important to do the minimum, if we cannot, you know, if we need somebody there is to do the minimum, but really take good care of themselves and back out and then come back into what they need to do rather than push through and really get sick, which doesn't make sense. Okay. 